someone's feeling fit and well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so what we're going to do is find our pulse because we want to get a good resting heart rate. So when you exercise, it's important to find out what your resting heart rate is so that we can then come back to that um, heart rate when we finish. We know we're not going to work you too hard. So if at the end of an exercise session you find that your pulse is a lot, lot higher, then it means you probably worked a little bit too hard. But if your heart's very happy with your exercise, it will come back quite quickly. Now, finding your pulse, I know a lot of you um, have had problems, and maybe some of you continue to have problems, but it's very, very simple. There are two points on the body where you can find your pulse. Now, one is on your wrist. So if you have a watch with a second hand, you want to use that hand, you apply three fingers just on the thumb side of the wrist. So I'll just demonstrate first. You are applying a little bit of pressure. Now you're not using the tops of your fingers, you're using the pads. Okay? Now I know some of you find that difficult because what happens is you get a little bit older and the nerve endings tend to die off. So if you have that problem, you can use your pulse but your thumb rather to find your pulse. Now just to say, to find your own pulse with your thumb is fine. If you're finding someone else's pulse, please do not use your thumb because you will be counting your heartbeat, not theirs. If there's a situation you need to find someone else's pulse, always use your fingers, not your thumb, because you do, do have a pulse. Yeah. And then you count for 15 seconds. Now the other way is, again, you can put your fingers again, but you want to, this time, start at your ear and just slide them down, just up, and then you just tuck them just underneath the jaw. And again, applying a little bit of pressure, make sure it's the pads of the fingers, and then you can feel. So, let's have a go. So if you'd like just to find your pulse, have a go. Now, if you've got a second hand on your watch, that's fine. If you haven't, you've got a second hand on the clock. So, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a 15 second count. Has everybody got their pulse? Yeah, everyone got their pulse? Yeah. Right, okay, if you'd like to start counting now. Don't forget to breathe. That's it, that's good. You've still got another five seconds to go, so just keep counting. Don't worry, just a little bit of pressure. And stop. So that's your 15 second count. So what sort of numbers are we coming back with? 75. 75. 72. 72. 66. 66. 66. 66. 70. 70. I don't believe in classical. <laughs> 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 and you'll notice some horses are high, some horses are low. You said 50 seconds. Yeah, 50 seconds. Yes, and then you double the number, and then you double it again, and then of course that's our 60 seconds. So that's how we get our 60 seconds. Some are high, some are low, a lot of that's down to medication. But if you know what your resting heart rate is normally for you, and if you want to get a true resting heart rate, then first thing in the morning before you get out of bed is a good one, although if you want a piece of love that, may not apply. Um, if you find that you, you rest and you can't get your heart rate back to what is normal for you, you really shouldn't be exercising. So if your heart rate is higher or normal, or, 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 or lower than what is normal, and that's just a sign that you should because your heart rate reflects how you feel. So if you're ill, if you're under stress, then your heart rate will be higher. So and of course if your heart beats irregular and that's not normal for you, then you shouldn't be exercising. You need to go back and see a GP. So thank you very much for that and we're going to get started now.